All right, now we're going to turn to a major development in the criminal case against the Oxford High School shooter. An Oakland County judge ruling the 17 year old Ethan Crumbly can be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole at his upcoming sentencing hearing. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked has the response from the parents of a student who survived being shot. An emotional Miller hearing here was both graphic and gut wrenching, but parents say now after learning the judge's ruling, it was a necessary step towards justice. It feels the same as it felt right when everything happened. For Linda Watson, today was about ensuring deaths of Oxford High School students and injuries suffered at the hands of the shooter could be punished by the harshest sentence allowed. We are just extremely grateful to the whole prosecution team because we know how much work has gone into this and they from day one have been working for the families. Linda's son was one of seven who survived gunshot wounds during the school shooting, which the judge discussed today along with other factors. The defendant continues to be obsessed with violence and could not stop his obsession even while incarcerated at the jail. I don't see how you can do what he did and never get out. It's just that wouldn't be right. A decision by Judge Kwame Rowe, something Oxford families waited for since the end of a Miller hearing to determine whether or not the shooter should be eligible for life without parole. Today, the answer, a definitive yes. Although defendant may have received his GED if he could have taken the test, that alone does not show a possibility of rehabilitation. During the hearing, witnesses and experts in psychiatry gave testimony, and a video of the November 2021 mass shooting was shown. The judge also took into account the defendant's age and home life and talked about the shooter doing significant research about the penalties. He added expert testimony showed the shooter was not mentally ill. The planning of torture and, and pain. He doesn't have a conscience, this this young man. The defendant was only 15 at the time he murdered Hannah St. Juliana, Tate Meir, Justin Schilling, and Madison Baldwin, and wounded seven others. Today, the prosecutor issued a statement saying she hopes this step brings some comfort to families. Attorneys Todd Flood and Wolf Mueller also represent families impacted. His maturity level, that's, that's not someone that's acting of a tender age. That's someone acting with an age of a high level of maturity. The only appropriate remedy, the only appropriate sentence is life without parole. He took Madison's freedom away, her life away, without choice. It is just as important to us right now, even with the decision that came out, that there is no possibility that our son or anyone from Oxford is going to be able to run into the shooter at any point in life because he would be paroled. We'll of course be in court on December 8th for sentencing when parents are also expected to read victim impact statements. From Pontiac, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. A lot of people will be following that closely. Thank you, Simon.